What's up guys, it's Screwloose again from TwinStick.com and today in this side-by-side -side comparison we're going to look at the heavy-duty Chevy Kodiak C70 and we're going to put that up against the Russian off-roader the Zix 5368. Alright guys, here we are. Let's take a look at the Kodiak first. Uh, this is using the third and best engine option. Uh, a balanced gearbox as there's no real need for an off-road one yet. Uh, this sits on waist suspension and it sits pretty high actually for its size. Rides along on 43 inch off-road tires, which are pretty big for the size of the truck again. Uh, this comes to you with an all-wheel drive uh, by default, but it is upgraded here with a differential lock as well. Uh, Kodiak actually brings back some childhood memories for me. My grandpa used to plow roads around here uh, in Yosemite back in the 80s in these trucks or, or something like them and the uh, GMC 9500 were what they used. Pretty cool to see it here uh, being used for this game. Uh, this is actually classified as a heavy duty truck. It can handle a lot uh, as long as you're careful. Um, lots of the same add-ons as the Zix as well as the addition of even being able to mount the heavy crane. Though I would not recommend doing that. Alright, and here's the Zix, guys. So this is the, also using the third and best engine option. Uh, and as with the Kodiak, is also using the balanced gearbox for the same reason. There's just no real reason uh, for an off-road one yet. Uh, it is riding on race suspension and is also pretty high for the size it is. In fact, maybe a little too high. Uh, it rolls on 47-inch off-road tires, which provided a little bit of an advantage over the rougher terrain. Uh, it is an off-road truck, after all and uses full-time all-wheel drive and is also upgradable uh, to an engageable differential lock. Uh, the Zix is an off-road truck with a lot of power. It has high suspension but it makes it a little bit bouncy and it's easier to turn over. Uh, it can handle a lot of add-ons but no heavy crane. Um, load handling is also pretty good but with some types of cargo uh, they're just straight up too heavy and will bottom out the suspension. The biggest advantage to the Zix is the use of those high snorkels. So as long as you're really careful and you don't get swept away, uh, you can go through some pretty deep water. The basic stats for both vehicles are pretty comparable, with the Zix taking an advantage and maybe a little bit of ride height and uh, power to weight ratio. Okay guys, before we get started, I want to say that I have found a serviceable workaround for the issues caused by a recent GPU driver update that has really hampered my recording. Uh, I'll put some details in about that in the description. Uh, but be aware that this footage is not perfect. It does contain a few stutters here and there, and hopefully it's not too annoying. Uh, but it is, as I said, serviceable for use today. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Now let's move on to the wrap. So the vehicles will start here, kind of uh, at the bottom of the hill from the garage here in Smithfield Dam, and uh, we'll travel up a sort of narrow, rough path. It's more, uh, it seems more like a scout trail than anything. They are going to carry the same load of service parts, uh, and we'll travel all the way to the old log station there. Uh, and just like previous videos, we are going to follow this in real time.
Okay, guys, there we have it. Uh, we can see that the Kodiak, even though it's tougher and more stable, uh, has a little bit of a harder time uh, getting through some of the smaller, tighter areas on the, uh, on the smaller tires and the longer wheelbase. Uh, it's also a little bit less powerful than the Zix, but still performs really well, I think, at least for a vehicle to find so early in the game. Uh, in fact, even edging out the Zix here by a few seconds. Uh, the Zix, on the other hand, is higher. It rides on bigger tires, so it has a, a little more of an off-road advantage. But it's also pretty bouncy, um, so a little tough to control at times. During testing, this actually led to a few rollovers, uh, but that's not really indicative of gameplay as long as you're careful. Uh, it is powerful, and it has an easier time in the mud, though the softer suspension means it is harder uh, to haul heavy loads with. So yeah, I don't know, what, what do you guys think? Would you rather use one over the other? Skip them both? Love them both? Uh, yeah, anyway guys, alright, I've been Screwless from TwinStick.com, thanks for watching, have a great one.